Hey guys, welcome back to Three Question Friday. Just a little reminder that you have the opportunity to win a $20 gift voucher each week if I select one of your questions and I select three each week and I'm gonna be honest with you, it's not that hard to win. Um, so just send me through some interesting questions that you have around nutrition and hemp seeds and you could be on your way to the online store with a $20 gift voucher, which is really, really cool. Um, I hope everyone's doing really well. Uh, I know uh, things have been really weird lately, but I feel like Things are on the mend. I'm in Victoria and it's so good to see some sort of like normalization to life. So sending some um, big love to Victorians out there as well. Um, and also everyone around Australia, all the world, if you're tuning in. That's so cool. All right. We've got three questions. Um, and just remember, you can always send them to ben13cs.com.au. Um, okay. First question is from Judy. And Judy asks, how much magnesium do I need and how much hemp seeds do I need to meet my daily requirements? So before I answer this question, I'm going to talk a little bit about what exactly magnesium is. So magnesium is a mineral um, and it's a really important mineral because it actually has over 300 different roles in the body. So 300 different bodily systems that we use, that our body uses regularly, that's happening all day and all night. We need magnesium for these to work efficiently. Um, so it's really, really important that we're getting enough magnesium in our diet. And some of the things that it plays a role in in particular are things such as muscle relaxation, um, and it's so if you if you suffer from like muscle spasms and things like this, it can be really really helpful. Um, but then also things such as energy production and also the synthesis synthesis of brain chemicals, so the makeup of brain chemicals, which play a role in our mood. So it's really really cool and important that we get these magne this magnesium in our diet. So how much do you need? Okay, so if you're a female, you're going to need 320 milligrams a day. So this is the recommended daily intake in Australia. And if you're a male, you're going to need 420 milligrams a day. Now, how much do hemp seeds contain? Well, our hemp hearts, 50, just 50 grams of hemp hearts, contains exactly 320 milligrams, which is quite convenient because that's the exact recommended daily intake for females. So obviously, if you're a male, you're going to need a little bit more. But you also want to have this in a well-balanced diet, guys. And some other ways you can get magnesium into your diet is with green leafy vegetables, so spinach, kale, broccoli, um, bok choy, um, just off the top of my head. Um, yeah, so they're a really great way. And also like nuts and seeds are a really great source of um, minerals, in particular magnesium as well. So consuming those foods regularly as well as hemp parts, you're really going to hit those magnesium recommended daily intakes really easy, which is cool. Um, thank you so much for that question. I love that. I love answering questions like that. Um, Sandra was curious, if I heat hemp parts in the microwave, will they lose their nutritional goodness? So I did a bit of research uh, and I really want to make sure, because um, I have heard conflicting things in the past about microwaves, but I've always sort of thought that they were, they were safe because I don't know why they'd release something that wasn't safe for consumption. So I went on to the World Health Organization and it's absolutely safe as long as you use the microwave um, as it's intended to be. So you follow the directions, which I think we all know how to do basically. Just a couple of things to be wary of though when heating things in the microwave. But first thing is you do not want to stand too close to the microwave. Um, just to prevent any sort of, uh, you know, coming into contact with any sort of microwaves, but it's really unlikely that's going to happen. But it's always a good idea to just stand about 30 to, 30 to 50 centimeters away from the microwave, and this is going to make sure that nothing's going to happen. But look, it's rel it's it's completely safe, I'd, but they wouldn't be producing these things otherwise. Um, and when it comes to uh, hemp parts as well, uh, it's absolutely fine to heat those in the microwave. Um, sometimes it's actually even better to heat things in the microwave because you can actually uh, stop nutrient losses, but it really depends on the food. But yeah, absolutely fine. That's safe and it's not going to impact the nutritional goodness as well. One more thing I just want to talk about with microwaves and please send the message to any friends or family or share this video because it's really important that you do not heat things in plastic. The reason why you shouldn't heat things in plastic is because sometimes when you heat things in plastic, it can actually, the plastic, these chemicals found in the plastic can leak into the foods. And then we, when we consume these foods, it can actually disrupt many bodily systems, including in particular our hormones. Um, and hormones are really, really important in the body and have so many different functions. So um, it can, it can break, dysregulate things such as testosterone um, and estrogen, which are our sex hormones, and it can really um, cause some damage. So it's really important that we're not heating things in plastic and it's great to spread the word guys. Please, please get that message across any way you can. You can always share this video with any of your mates as well. Um, so yeah, glad we, talk, glad we actually talked about that because I think it's really interesting and a lot of people don't know that. Also, it's fine to store things in, um, in, the, in, the fr in plastic as well, in the fridge. That's fine, just don't heat it in, in the plastic.
All right, uh, third question. Margaret was wondering, what's the best way to store hemp seed oil and can I use it for cooking like olive oil? So um, with hemp seed oil, what you want to do is you want to store that in a cool, uh, dark, sorry, a cool dry place. I live next to a school and the bell just went off, uh, which is good that people at school. Anyway, you want to store it in a cool, dry place. So I live in Melbourne. So what you do, I just chuck it in the cupboard. Perfect. However, if you were to be in like far north Queensland where it's probably a lot hotter, uh, there could be a potential to put it in the fridge. But look, for most people, um, based on the climate in Australia, it'd be fine to put it in the cupboard just to cool dry place. Um, now, can you use it for cooking like olive oil? Yes, you can. Now, the reason why is uh, hemp seed oil has a, a smoking point, which is 165 degrees Celsius. Now, what a smoking point means is you basically, all the nutrients that are contained in the oil are going to maintain up until that point. So all our things like our essential fatty acids, which are probably the main constituent of our hemp seed oil, are going to be fine. They're not going to go rancid or anything up until that point. And you can even heat the even heat it for like even higher, up to two hundred and forty degrees for up to thirty degrees uh, for up to thirty minutes. So there really isn't any concern when it comes to cooking. So you can use it just like olive oil, whether that's pan frying, whether that's grilling, roasting, all that's fine. The only thing I wouldn't do, guys, is I just wouldn't deep fry with it because deep frying is at quite a high temperature. And it's also, you're going to spend a lot of money deep frying hemp seed oil. It's probably not worth it as well. So absolutely fine. And if you love a taste, you should chuck it on everything. And you can even throw it on salads as well, which is really cool. Um, yeah, so I think that's everything, guys. Um, send in big love. Hope everyone's doing really well. Uh, love these questions. Keep them coming and send them to me at benet13seeds.com.au. Um, I love answering them. And have a nice weekend. I'll catch you next week, guys. Take care.